our uh, afternoon session talking about uh, uh, water mist kitchen regression system. The system was designed to uh, operate in the industrial uh, conditions and uh, sorry some interruption So now we can we can start with a presentation about the, the kitchen for industrial application. Uh, we know that all the risk uh, is sitting inside the cooking oil. Cooking oil is a phenomena which starts to burn even before the boiling point. So the fumes which are generated if the uh, oil is overheated uh, starts to burn and catch the fire. Uh, having about 365 degrees and then the boiling point is over 400 so uh, it is very difficult to extinguish this fire uh, in a, a positive way we can use a lot of extinguishers including powder extinguisher which will extinguish the fire but the fire will return the self-ignition is the, the major problem for all the firefighting agents to, uh, uh, to fight with this fire. Water mist is uh, uh, a little bit different, but we can talk first about basically the whole uh, uh, system. The system is installed to be actuated automatically. It has, of course, manual actuation unit, which can be usually used first, before the overheating of the kitchen. But if there are no human, if the accident is in night, this system will be activated automatically. We can use different extinguishing agents. The most popular is a wet chemical. It is a foaming agent which is generating a lot of collateral damage, requires shutdown kitchen for hours or days, as water mist, and you will see uh, during the live presentation at the end, of our meeting uh, is pure and absolutely uh, <coughs> is not generating any collateral damage. Uh, we can uh, say that in fact we can protect different kitchens and depends on the kitchen we are using the proper sizes from 11 liters up to 50 liters and even double uh, this size which in terms of the uh, protection by the water mist can be situated outside of the kitchen. The distance between the protected unit and uh, uh, the supply unit is uh, up to 11 meters. So we can allocate far away from the kitchen, not uh, creating any problem for the kitchen equipment. Talking about the system, uh, we can describe all its elements which are necessary to operate in a smooth way. The most important part is a supply unit. Supply unit uh, is generating the stream of uh, uh, water and gas uh, mixed together and by uh, pipes is going to the distribution line under the hood. There are a couple of different locations of the nozzle. The nozzles at the edge of the hood are responsible for creating the mist uh, uh, along the whole hood. The nozzles which are hidden behind the filter will extinguish the fire in, in case the fire is jumping from the cooker up to the hood. And also there is another nozzle which is allocated in a duct, this nozzle uh, is responsible to extinguish the fire uh, in, in a chimney. Uh, we are extinguishing using water mist uh, which is turned into steam. Every liter of water is turning into 1.5 cubic meter of inert gas and this inert gas will fill the whole volume of the chimney 
to uh, avoiding the access of oxygen and will uh, suppress the fire. Every uh, kitchen protection system has uh, detection. There are different types of detection. They are usually located uh, after the uh, filter, very close to the outlet to the chimney. Uh, the most popular is a tube detection. It is a pressurized tube which if the temperature is higher than 80 degrees at that point will burst and then the, the pressure drops and differential valve which is on the top of the cylinder will be actuated. Another system is a linear heat detection which also uh, is melting the uh, element and after uh, it is melted, the proper valve is actuating the, the whole system. Uh, there are two very important features uh, connected to the, to the system. One is the manual actuator. It should be far away from the kitchen, very close to, to the escape route. So if the uh, kitchen is catching the fire in the presence of the people, they can just push the button and the system will be actuated before it is really detected by the automatic detection. And the second unit which is invisible is a differential uh, element which gives a signal to shut down electricity or shut down the valve uh, which is supporting the fire. So we need to stop the fire to avoid uh, uh, ignition of the uh, oil again. Um, inside the cylinder, there are rotors. That's a technology which is uh, uh, licensed to cease fire and allows the water to be uh, mixed with a gas. This mixture is moving to the nozzles and thanks to the technology, the collision creates the, uh, the mist which is very equal and is all the time the same even if the pressure inside the cylinder uh, is uh, lower. We can use the uh, system as a local protection or as a total protection. The difference is only the allocation of the nozzles. For local protection we have to choose the uh, component which is uh, protected. It is very similar to other systems. But we prefer to uh, offer the total flooding system uh, for whole um, hood, what means that the units which are under the hood can be shuttled uh, and uh, extinguishing action always will be successful. That's the local protection. We protect the certain object and always protect the behind the filter and the duct. That's our obligatory uh, protection. If we, if we are talking about the total flooding, all nozzles are uh, along the hood and doesn't matter where the wrist will be shuffled, the system uh, will operate. Again, we have protection behind the filter and protection of the duct. Uh, advantages of a water mist suppression system. There are very many advantages. First of all, uh, it is an absolutely green product. Water is the only green extinguishing agent in the world and will not create any collateral damage. It is a very economical system. Even if the initial price is not the cheapest, every accidental actuation or real actuation will bring very little cost because water is very cheap. of water, it is about 3 liters per uh, nozzle. There is no uh, damage and no really shutdown for the kitchen. After the ventilation of, of the fumes, the kitchen can restart. There is no uh, collateral damage. It means that the all food which is in the kitchen is usable and can be served to the customers. In fact, this system is working 24 hours. Doesn't matter if the kitchen is working or not, even if the night, if by accident heater started or somebody forgotten to, to turn off the heating, 
and, and fire uh, starts, this system will protect the assets. Uh, we, uh, we can say it is a multiple trigger because after one action, within a couple of hours, it, it can be filled with the water, uh, pressurized and ready for next use. It's very efficient, very eff uh, effective, uh, which uh, minimal downtown for a kitchen. Can be uh, designed in any configuration for normal kitchens, for ISO kitchens, and what is very important is very reliable. This system is internationally certified by LPCB. It is an authority from UK, uh, which has a protocol, very tough protocol, uh, which is necessary to fulfill to get a approval. Ceasefire system is fully approved and uh, certified. We can have these uh, systems installed in many places, in uh, industrial kitchens, in all kinds of other kitchens, including railway, pantry cars, uh, and any kind of bunkers uh, you like. Highly recommended, especially for the places where there are very many people close to the kitchen, and where it's just one kitchen in a building, uh, <coughs> like in a restaurant. So, uh, the one fire can close the restaurant and the owner will be losing the revenue for uh, a longer time. Uh, so that's all in, a, in terms of a theory. I think we should uh, go to the demo center of ceasefire and see if we have a chance to extinguish the oil. So let's go there. So we are in a demo center, you can see a beautiful range of extinguishing equipment, extinguishers, quads, tetra quads, uh, different extinguishing agents, but for us the most important is the kitchen. So let's go. The temperature of the oil is uh, 340 degrees, so I think that we can have a time for a tea. Minimum 10 minutes more is required to overheat and uh, to start the uh, fire. I don't know, uh, I can tell you it is not a good atmosphere because it is, there are a lot of fumes, but anyway, let's see what is in, in, in the kitchen. We have an indication that the detection uh, is actuated, so the light should flash. Behind the filter, there are nozzles also to protect if there is a fire, but real extinguishing line is here, hidden so the, the, the public will not see even that the system is protected. The detection tube in this pipe goes to the unit. Shall we open it? Yeah. So we have the detection tube, which will burst. After it bursts, the differential valve will uh, actuate the system, the uh, mist will go, don't worry, I'm not afraid. It's very gentle fire. Uh, so differential valve will let the uh, mist go to the nozzles through the, 
through this pipe. So the fumes are more and more dense, but the most important is temperature, 354, so we need 10, 10 degree more to self-ignition. Maybe five, we'll see. It very much depends on oil. Everybody are coughing because it's not mm -hmm. Mm. But what is important? Uh, important is that this kitchen is in a certain environment. There is a lot of other uh, products prepared for in a kitchen. Uh, <coughs> we should look what will happen with oil. Will the oil be outside or not? Will be any collateral damage around the kitchen? That's the most important from our point of view to have the system which is safe uh, for the people and uh, do not generate any collateral damage. 360, it is heating quite quickly. So let's hope we'll have a fire very soon. No, it's going to be Okay, uh, we have a presentation of different nozzles in this room. The nozzle which is extinguishing the, uh, on extinguishing line and also behind the filter are very similar to these. They have a small orifice around, you can see, and thanks to the technology, the two streams of water which are leaving this orifice, they collide. Thanks to the collision, we have a nice stream of water. How nice it is, you will see in a moment, I hope, if the uh, kitchen will be activated. 300? It's almost 70. 370. Oh, good. It should catch the fire. Yeah. Let's be punching. Preparation of the presentation was nearly perfect because uh, time to wait for a fire is reasonably soon. Usually we we can uh, wait a half an hour or more. That I don't like to use too much of time. Uh, but uh, there is no reason not to have a fire. <coughs> Just caught the fire. It is very gentle fire. You can see that the flame is very gentle. But it grows. If we use powder, we can extinguish this fire, but it will immediately return because we still have not the temperature of boiling. We have just the fumes which are burning over the surface of the uh, oil. The fire is increasing, it's having a temperature. In a normal condition, if the uh, cooks are in the kitchen, they should push the button, activate the system. By hand. So fire starts to be bigger as the temperature is going up. Now we have a boiling. Actuation. Thank you. 
this is actually not long, but this fire, this flame is not hurting anything. It will never burn something. The people are not present, so the system is safe. But what is important, the meat is still going on. It's cooling, so we will avoid again the rain mission, and if we come closer, we can see uh, that there is no collateral damage. We can we can try to uh, show you. We can try to show you also how the wet chemicals look like, but I don't know if this arrangement will work. Yeah? In the moment you will see the discharge of the wet chemicals. Yeah, wet chemicals. Wet chemicals. Oh, oh. Without the fire. You can see that it is not a pollution even without the fire. If it is a fire and uh, cooking oil is hot, everything starts to boil and spread in the kitchen. So the difference is the cleanness and uh, effectiveness of the of the systems. I hope you enjoyed and uh, have a good evening. Thank you very much.